Hi, I'm Michael Artsis. Welcome back to CES Live on BeTerrific.com, and we're also on Planet5D.com and all sorts of other syndication partners. We're here at the Las Vegas Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it is the Consumer Electronics Show. We've got all sorts of great stuff going on today. It's just been amazing, and it's been a lot of fun. I got to tell you about the Aspect Solar SunSocket Energy Bar 250. It's really a tremendous device. 250 watt hours of electricity from this thing. It's got these great batteries that literally can drain all the way down, have long shelf life, and they're tremendous. This is your mobile energy bar. You can power it through an outlet or through an Aspect Solar solar panel. These are really durable, they get more energy than anybody else, and they're really travelable. You can do all sorts of different sizes, and the cool thing about Aspect Solar is they have devices like this, but they also have devices that are really small for your cell phone, go all the way up to rack mounted. They have stuff that'll power our entire set. Really cool stuff, really great. You gotta check it out, aspectsolar.com. I've got Gus Jockers here from iCreation. Gus, thank you so much for joining us. No problem, U.S. director. It. You guys have some really great stuff. I've got a problem. I text while drive. I, it's terrible, and I know I've got a problem. It's, it's really gone down a lot since I got the iPhone 6 Plus, which is great because I, it's a two-handed device. You can't two-hand it while you're driving. Um, it's, it's, I'm, I know I'm not the only one, but the problem is people can't stop themselves um, because we, we just can't. We, we feel this impulse and this need. I understand that, and we should, and I'm getting better at it, and I'm trying, and I'm being vigilant about it, but I think you have a product here that can help with that. Part of the problem of break, breaking the habit is you're a talker for a living. Unlike me, I'm an engineer, but you're a talker. My wife says to me, do you ever not talk on the phone when you're in the car? I'm like, rarely. Uh, part of the problem is the systems that are in automobiles today vary by, pro you know, every car has a different system. In fact, there's been a lot of complaints that with the new iPhone 6 and iOS 8, it doesn't speak Bluetooth to a lot of cars. It, it, it works in my car, but I actually have terrible static all of a sudden. What you need to do is pair your phone with a speak up. Let speak up do the hard work. It's a very smart uh, voice only command system. And you only need to say, hello iCreation, and she will say, say a command. The noise in here is really bad, and it, uh, the interference, that's what I mean, electronic noise is right. deadly. And, and yeah, right, so, and, and it doesn't help that we're rolling with the convertible top today instead <laughs> of the full, the full <laughs> easy upset. But yes, so this is, the, this is the device you're talking about. It's the speak up. And um, and what you do is you put this in the cup holder. It's got a speaker in it. It's Bluetooth, a great microphone. And walk me through it. Okay, uh, you can say hello. Speak hello, I creation. Say a command. Say a command. What can I say? You can say pair mode. Am I connected? Phone command. Check battery. Redial. Call back. What can I say? Or cancel. Okay, so. The last person to call me was Chris, to make sure that I didn't get lost on my way over here. And uh, I missed his call, because I was in the middle of a lot of people. Hello, iCreation? Call back. Call back. Calling back. Oh, he's going to get a lot of prank calls later now. We just yes, gave that will. number out he's on going, here. As I Let's demo. let him pick up. Let's let him pick up. Where is Chris? If you can get well, cell the service, problem now is, the problem is the cell problem, service in the, here. No, it's it's already. Uh, no, it's, I mean cell service. Yeah. It might be the Maybe issue. Maybe Chris has self service problem. <laughs> That's a possibility. So very cool. So you just talked to it. You didn't touch anything. You literally just called him back. Uh, he, you understand iOS, and yeah. you understand that you can uh, speak with Siri. Yes. Uh, the latest revision of uh, iOS eight. Uh, allows you to say, hey Siri, but it doesn't respond to hey Siri because you need to have a power connection. If you have a power connection, it will respond to hey Siri. Well, this will respond to hey Siri if it have a power connection to your phone. You know, I simply need to plug in a battery sure. or plug it into my AC outlet in the car. Wow. 
I didn't now, know that. So I didn't know that in iOS 8 you could do that. That's terrific. Your problems are going to be resolved by the time you're talking, uh, done speaking with me because I have seen more teenage, particularly girls, have serious accidents texting while driving. We got to prevent this. They're only just, they think they can control it. Yeah. But as soon as their brain goes elsewhere, their car will do this. And I've seen people drive into barriers, center barriers, and just at full speed. They uh, have no idea they're even moving because they're, they're looking at their phone and they're going like this. My very first accident, I had a uh, alphanumeric pager. I got paged several times. I was driving a brand new Jeep Wrangler, looked down to read the pager, looked up, was in the woods, made a left to get out of the woods at like 30 or 40 miles an hour, and I took out a fire hydrant that was at the edge of the woods in the road. Because your attention is not on what yes. you're doing. And, and so it is very, very, very important that we get people to stop texting. I agree, I would sign the pledge. I wish that somebody would come up with an app to keep me from doing it, and I know it's coming. It's not on iOS yet, but this is a tremendous solution. Adam Levine, uh, uh, during voice, mm -hmm. at the last couple of voices, Adam Levine did a, uh, a thing for, I think it was Toyota, uh, sign the pledge, texting while driving, you know, and the red fingers, and the, you know, put the plastic band around. But for a company like ours to get in touch with Adam Levine to say, hey, if you really believe in this, it's a simple solution. It's an under a hundred dollar right. solution. Well, and and to yeah. solve a problem. And so it's worth it for everybody. You either have uh, Bluetooth in your car, and that's great, or you use this. And this could be an improvement to the Bluetooth in your car because um, if you have this in your car, then you additionally can talk to it where you can't talk to the cars. And then you can take this on the road. So now we're using a rental car. We can put this in the rental car. And the beauty of our design It doesn't is that weigh very much either. No. Way. And uh, we have an audio out jack. What that means is you can plug into a rental car. And uh, they all have audio it'll in play, jacks. It'll play Now you've got a $2,000 sound system. Right. This is a $100 speaker. It's not going to sound like your $2,000 car of course. speaker. So now you can still make this your hub. $2,000 car speaker, what are you driving? A Mercedes? You got a rental Mercedes going? Wow. You got a Beamer? What, what do we got here in uh, Vegas? What not, are you driving? Uh, Alexis. Because you are. <laughs> no, no, no. Look at you, you're a baller over here. <laughs> uh, I creation must uh, be doing no. very well. No, 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 no I'm, a, I'm a Touareg driver, actually. And Touareg, I don't have, very nice. And my model, does, my model does not have, she's now speaking to Siri because yes. I probably said the right you're, you're set of words. You're setting the right combination of words, yes. exactly. Oh, no, no, no. Answer or ignore. Ignore. <laughs> uh, but I don't have Bluetooth. Okay. But I do have an audio jack. So nice. now it becomes my and, hub. And, and this doesn't weigh much. How long does the battery last? 20 hours. Wow, 20 hours. That's very and good. And if you, you happen know, to have I, a I golf cart, and you put this, I talk a lot. You got four rounds of golf in this charge. <laughs> but you're not supposed to talk on the phone while you're playing golf. The world is changing. I. Uh, w before we came out, was we won. You uh, used to get thrown out of golf courses know, for even talking, I let alone I, talking I, on a phone. I now, know. now we're talking on golf courses. You are playing music on golf courses. Wow, it's I like that. Rock very golf. common to play golf music. Um, what kind of music are we listening to on a golf course? Are we listening to heavy metal? Or are we well, listening to EDM? A little Santana would work good. Really? A little, you know, get that rhythm going. Yeah. It's, it's really quite amazing how many people are playing music on golf courses today. Wow. This fits really nicely into a golf cart yeah. cup holder. It does. It does. And um, it's not overly blaring. And it'll play music. And the, the, we designed this thing in the U.S. Okay. from scratch. And you notice that our speaker is pointing up, not out. Most Bluetooth speakers play music in your face. And it's a little irritating. Uh, you know, most of them are not too expensive and they don't have uh, $250 worth of electronics in them. Because people, Bluetooth is by definition for the pedestrian player right. of music. It's not sure. real high quality because sure. the bandwidth on Bluetooth is only narrow. Right. But you still, I'm a, 
uh, a music nut myself, personally. Uh, what kind of music you like? You know, I can go from classical, and I love, uh, I, I'm not a rap fan, Yeah. but New York, New York is one of my favorite songs, and I would classify that as rap. So I can go from rap Wait, to classical. Wait, you're not talking to Frank Sinatra, New York, New York. You're talking about Empire State from Jay-Z. Empire State. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see that one coming. There's a curveball. Uh, I I love that song. Gus so, Jockers, you're you're awesome. This is this is very cool stuff. I think this is really important. I think the message is really important. It's the Speak Up. It's under a hundred dollars. Um, you can listen to Empire State on it. You can make phone calls. You can talk to Surrey. You can send texts. You can listen to texts. It's great. And I think it's really important um, that not only uh, do we use devices like this, but we stop texting and driving. More Thanks than for anything. inviting me, Michael. Thank I you for coming it. on, Gus. I, I really appreciate it. it. I know you guys have a lot of other great products here at CES, too. Come and see us at booth 6316 We're in G the North Hall. Gus, you're awesome. It's <laughs> Gus Jockers from iCreation. They make a lot of great stuff, but of course, check out the Speed Cup and stop texting and driving. I'm going to do it. You do it, and I'll do it. We'll do it together. How about that? It's really, really important. You know, my wife says to me all the time, like, it's not only about you and leaving Jack without a father, it's about leaving somebody else without a father. So think of that, the damage you will do to somebody else and their family when you go to text and drive. That's what I think about. I've really cut it down and I'm serious. Let's do it together. All right, we'll be back here on CES Live from on beterrific.com from the Las Vegas Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, right after this with a whole lot more show. I'm Michael Arts. Just keep it locked here.